I'll oh. go. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Probably. No. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry, oh, don't think it was Oh! Out. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T, and welcome to TNT Gaming. So t today we are continuing our journey with Red Dead Redemption 2. Redemption. Yes. Lord, give us redemption, please. <laughs> we need it. <laughs> so in our Too previous episode, Dutch was, he was weaving his web of tales in which he had uh, Arthur help him play the Braithwaites and the Greys. Mm -hmm. And so we took on... We took on separate missions in which we were helping the Greys destroy shit from the birthrights, <laughs> birth weights, and then the birth weights, breath weights, weights. So, breath weights uh, destroying the Greys. Uh, what was it? Tobacco field? Yeah, they burned it. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so <laughs> um, now we're going to go ahead and see what's going to happen with this because eventually everything is going to come to a head. Not anything good. No. I mean, because ever since they got into town, even though the Greys and the Breathweights have always been at each other's throats, mm -hmm. since Dutch and Arthur and It feels and like Jane, it's escalating. It has definitely escalated. They yeah. are causing so much trouble, and I don't think they are being as low-key as Dutch was telling them to be. And right. it's, I mean, partly it's his fault mm. because m most of it is his idea. So, yeah. I mean, how long can you go under the radar without them seeing, like, hey, since y'all got here, y'all stuff has been, like, rowdy. Right, exactly. All right, guys, uh, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get this kicked off. Let's go. Oh, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Just I think it. you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit or and find out the, exactly what he knows yeah. and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters mm. who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was going to play him like a fiddle. Mm. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Crazy. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. Ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's yeah. these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even Why get away with the money. Worried? Yeah, but they don't know that. Because it was a lot of them, and it, it just seemed Trelawney. really random. Right, but it's kind of like out of sight, times, out of mind. But he's, he's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. Mm. Oh. <laughs> but he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need cockroach. to find him britches. before he scurries off again. Mm. Reckon it's that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Interesting little settlement. <laughs> Shit. This don't look so good. Oh. Well, he clicked. Someone got here first. Yeah, somebody got him. So it seems. What do you think? Check the house. Still Big still. struggle. <laughs> Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess maybe uh, 12 hours ago. But no body? Not yet. Mm. Mm. Look. Tracks. 
Come on. Time to go, boy. Hmm. They went down the path here. How's your... Back in these days. All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. Yeah, because he dressed you know, fancy. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. <laughs> I thought you knew. That's his special talent. <laughs> they could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Ooh. What are you getting off for? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of feller? Sort of oh. formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like uh -oh. this one. Oh. Uh-oh. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Oh. Oh. Who do you think you are? Are you just trying to fight him? Like, nah, man. I mean, he's dressed kind of fancy, too. He got a little vest and tie on. You stay oh. there. Oh, they're bounty hunters. Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. Oh. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Oh. Oh. You gonna keep him alive? Oh, okay. oh shit! <laughs> no, he's dead. I should do it. He's definitely dead. I don't know if he's dead, but he knocked you out. Can, you can hear the crack. <laughs> you can hear there was the last crack he did when he, he when his soul left his body. Oh. Watch. That'll do it. Let's practice face. He'll be all right. All right. Oh, God. He'll I be should knocked do it. out for a while. Mm -mm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. What, what were you going to say? Yeah, I was like, they're going to have to talk to the Breath Breath Braithwaite's because mm -hmm. he's they're, but now they're saying they're going to go around. But my thing is, why did they get Trelawney? And how? I think maybe because the Braithwaite mom might know who Dutch is. And she's going after Dutch. Since she she's probably but, on, on to him scheming. But Trelawney isn't like with the group He's as not, a whole. but he is. Okay. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just That's depends if any of them involve us. Right. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. Ooh. He don't know how not to talk. <laughs> he don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, 
I'll goddamn find out what he said. Mm. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when Scenery's we think about really cutting good, him too. loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. So we need to not get caught on the line, first of all. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. But the thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good yeah, time. Put the got his hat. down, gentlemen. Uh, go ahead. Uh, go. Uh, that's a lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, oh, you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Okay, go get them, Arthur. Mm. I can handle this. Oh. I'm surprised they let them run. Don't yeah. let them get away. Could have told now they're about to be on the Breathways property. Quick, find them. They're trying to hide in the fields. <laughs> oh, shit. He's mine. Let me take him. And get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he quit. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. Mm -hmm. I know. I can still take it. I'm a yeah. fool. Pat him down. Yeah, still get it. Oh shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Just gonna yeah. leave him dead in the cornfield. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Oh. Hey. Easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. Uh, <laughs> guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm. So I heard. <laughs> he took his money. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? I bet he's gone. Over here, dear oh, boy. He's still here. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were <laughs> bounty hunters. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me. No. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. Mm. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen mm -mm. for a while. Uh -huh. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. I wouldn't Dang. take him back to camp. Yeah. Because you don't know what he, what trouble he in. Oh, there seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it, but 
Even that ain't the way I remember it. Hmm. Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, <laughs> I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. <laughs> so where do we find this friend of yours? Rhodes. Because what can possibly go wrong there? <laughs> well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. Uh, How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. Does, uh, I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Mm. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. Mm. I'd done my part. Each to their strength, dear boy. You know. You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. Mm -hmm. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. I mean, I wouldn't be we out are. asking about the coaches like that. Right. I'll it's make the make, introductions, Arthur. Make people suspect me. And they already in trouble with Robert's uh, Cornwall's mm -hmm. stage coaches. Well, they they about to be in trouble with everybody. <laughs> Cornwall, the Braithwaite's, Cole Sanders. Hello, Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Mm -hmm. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've no. been saying oh. that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness well, uh... of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. A present? Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Arthur. <laughs> He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay. Well, okay. this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through mm. Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Oh. Thank you very much. Damn. See, that's what oh, happens when you Josiah, don't pay your people. If mm -hmm. you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. <laughs> that's it, discouraged <laughs> men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, 
Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> He's adieu. a character. He is. Oh, I guess that what worked out. The hell was that? Well, I you might he like doesn't like seen what's in the stage coach first. Through Cause okay. as we've seen before, uh, they've been played before. Like the guy that said, if you rob these horses, you can sell them for five thousand oh, yeah. dollars. And the guy only gave him six hundred bucks. I don't think I'm I think not I... sure if they're getting played this time because the guy's wages keep getting cut. Right. And so, just for the extra money, like, he don't care about telling right. them where stagecoaches are to rob them. Exactly. No, a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. Discouraged this way. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to find a way to make ends meet. Mm -hmm. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Mm. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Mm. Okay. Didn't exactly. sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, <laughs> so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble. You gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're Watch hoping to be though. long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Okay. This should do. Sure. We gonna rob it now? Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do oh. I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> And I can do this okay. silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. Mm -mm. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Mm -hmm. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. Y'all not gonna hide? Mm. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Mm. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I mean, what it seems to me is it wasn't safe to ride as they scoped this back then. So they Definitely. All robbed. Right. Because having a stagecoach was like having a car. They'd be like, oh, you got money. See, that's why you can't talk to strangers. Mm -hmm. It's a small Is a little mm. flattery, I guess. Somebody's gonna get killed. Let 
<laughs> no wonder, yikes. <laughs> Oh, it got worse as she got closer. Somebody just on the road knew who she was. Mrs. Damson. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Mm. Wow. Nicely done, Arthur. A little finesse for once. Well, at least nobody died. She gonna be pissed, though. Well done, sir! Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. <laughs> go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. <laughs> what is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Not I'm gonna like the sound of this. Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Mm. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> That's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. Oh. Mm. You really yeah. think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. Mm. So? No. Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the Kills end of the stock fella. sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose it's worth yeah. taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. Probably one of the guys so Bill, from the hotel that she was be good. Oh, it okay. is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope mm -hmm. so. So it looks like they're going back to Valentine. Mr. Morgan. Bad idea. Mr. Strauss. That man. The debtor. Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Oh. Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. <laughs> I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Oh, of course. oh you... that, was, that was the guy that was, was sick. Yeah, oh, no. Can head up there and collect. He lent oh. him a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, I said he had let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, oh, we're gonna send Karen nice. on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just mm. a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> All right. Right. Up and right. Kill Follow just me. In case. I mean, there's never a down moment. Mm -hmm. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. <laughs> oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Mm -hmm. Well, that's reassuring. Is he, is he like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl. Nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. <laughs> Need a work. Once he's got him distracted, we'll move in. 
When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. Mm. And you always fancy yourself as the Volt Man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. <laughs> hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, <laughs> and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know more. Who, y'all? Mm, yeah. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. Oh. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up is just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. <laughs> Bill, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake. Oh, yeah, the dynamite I'll never on the train. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? <laughs> Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through, Rob Cornwall's train, we shoot a heap of his men in Valentine, we rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. <laughs> and now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. The folk never look at what's right under their nose. They're probably I ain't waiting sure for you, that's right. always true. Exactly. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. Yeah, the last few sick. weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. <laughs> Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Oh. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. You gonna die. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. <laughs> Let's get it done first. Dutch is gonna love this. Keep it down now. We're here. <laughs> okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Whoa! All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Yeah, go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Lost little girl. Oh, you can choose the heart. Uh, no, I think I'd girl. like to see the little girl lost. Mm -hmm. so even you long to save day. the fallen women, eh, Arthur? To be drunk. You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's got him real down. Would you care to? I'm with child, and it's just I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Get your goddamn hands up! This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! 
himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I God damn it. Oh. Now what? Guess I'll Who's crack the them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. That's another one cleared. This is looking good. How much longer? Yeah, I'll take a long there. time. Okay, you reckon Five that's thousand. enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, hey, another pop. I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Right, Gentlemen, hurry! We seem to have some company. Oh, oh God. sorry, partner. I said come out now! <sighs> what do we do? Uh, oh, oh. Give me a second. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll oh. come. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Same? No. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake. Get out of there, miss! Sorry. Oh! They don't. oh. Dang! Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That should be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. Uh, uh, well, maybe you're right. <laughs> now, go fun. on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. Oh. This is downs. Wow. This is too much. Yeah. Wow. They cannot stay out of trouble. Every turn, there's something. And, I mean, there's just dead bodies. A trail of dead bodies just, everywhere they go. Yes. Yeah. And so Trelawney, he, he did say, like, no shooting for this yeah, job. Yeah, exactly. You know, because he, he was knows trying to keep how it clean. they are. So. But I, I think for the most part... 
even with the bank robbery, they weren't initially going in there trying to cause trouble. But they trouble. knew it was yes, they knew it was going to be some trouble. Well, the young lady said, as long it, the longer we stay there, the, the higher the chances are mm-hmm. that the law is going to show up. And so, if they could have went in, got in, and got out, there probably wouldn't have been a shootout. That manager, but, was yeah, too long he was to taking away. Yeah, he, he was, was taking. He was stalling. He was taking yeah. way too long to open up the lock. And so, by the time they got everything, you know, the sheriff was there and shootout happened yeah so, yeah uh this is is stressful this uh, is like and, and, I, and i keep when i watch this and i think back to when we first started watching them the the positive notes the the positive thoughts that i have for them right exactly yeah, everything is just gone like these guys are straight up me. bandits and see they would have got me mm. with their little act yeah oh yeah 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 they yeah. tricked us that's like a, they they, that's all it is people. just right just like how trelawney had tricked the uh the 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 singer lady yeah while arthur was robbing her that's what they did to the audience with yes. this game it's like they're distracting you with morality and how good hearted these people seem like okay, they are right. but in the reality they're just trying to make a quick buck yep. so yeah very funny um guys leave your thoughts down below in the comment section let us know what you thought about this episode we're going to continue our journey with red dead redemption 2 in our <laughs> next video as always like share and subscribe and if you want early access to our videos just become a member or a patron yes. we'll see y'all next time take care peace